Mistakes to avoid when selling your home. Are you worried about selling your home? No matter where you are in the home selling process, educating yourself about one of the most significant transactions in your life is critical. Selling your property may be stressful at times, and these are some mistakes to avoid to prepare yourself for a stress-free transaction. Before anything else, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Listing with an agent that doesn't know what they are doing. You don't want to waste your time effort and money selling your property without results. The reason to hire a realtor is to skip the hassle of marketing to sell your home. Hiring the wrong realtor to help is by far the most serious mistake you can make and this deserves to be on the top of the list. A lousy agent will reduce your selling price, leaving you with less money when everything is said and done. It's tempting to contact the realtor who assisted you in purchasing your home years ago, but selling is not the same as buying. They may be an excellent buyer's agent, but not a good listing agent. It's tempting to just work with a friend or a family member who is a realtor, but this is a sure way to damage a relationship. Selling your house is an important financial transaction. So approach it as a strictly business transaction and take the time to choose an experienced top agent who specializes in local market. Hiring a family member or a personal friend to sell your home, that's a big no-no. Working with a realtor who is personally close to you may seem appealing, but it is typically not a smart decision for a number of reasons. Your acquaintance or family member may be more relaxed with you. Unconditional love and friendship are wonderful, but they may underperform as a result. When a realtor works with a typical client, the pressure is to impress is greater. If the realtor fails to help you reach your goals, there will be no positive reviews or recommendations. Consider the worst case scenario. Even the most seasoned realtor can make mistakes and you should be free to voice your worries and disappointments to your realtor. It's especially embarrassing when it's a close friend. What effect would it have on your relationship? There are many horror tales of broken relationships as a result of faulty real estate deals, failing to interview more than one realtor. Because of the internet and the extensive availability of information, most people put in some effort and study before buying basic things. Despite this, most individuals work with the first agent they talk with, which is surprising given the selling of your house is one of the most significant financial transactions you will ever make. Make sure to learn how to interview realtors to find what makes them different and don't limit yourself to just one, setting the wrong price. You are not wrong if you want to get the most amount of money from your property, but you may not know how much to list it for. Setting the price too high might lead your house to sit on the market over a period of time, making it unappealing to buyers. Setting the proper list price will depend on the experienced realtor that you've chosen. Selling for sale by owner. If this is your first time selling, you may be put off by all the commissions and fees. You might have an epiphany. I'll sell it myself to save money, but this is a big mistake. Employing a realtor is the best option if you want to sell your home for the most money in the least amount of time. If you're an exceptional marketer, know how to sell the proper price, love paperwork, have a lot of free time to show your home and answer calls, and are a superb negotiator, you may be able to sell it by yourself, but not for the best price. Hire a realtor who is a professional to guarantee yourself the best result. Staying emotionally attached to your property. Emotionally, a home may represent a lot to your family. When you're selling a home, it's time to let a new family take over. Try not to get offended by a prospective buyer's expectations. Keep a cool head and be prepared to make acceptable adjustments you may not want in order to close a transaction. Don't waste a good offer by refusing to remove a light fixture that the customer truly wants because you're attached to it. Red flag alert, ignoring problem areas. When preparing to sell, make sure to perform the repairs and updates that your realtor recommends to get your home sold fast and for the highest price. You only get one first impression. This is a big deal for buyers. Even little issues with your house might raise red flags to them and are opportunities for them to try to lower the price. It's a good idea to hire an inspector before putting your house on the market so there are no surprises when prospective buyers do their own inspections if none are done. Not investing in marketing. The internet is used by 92% of home buyers to aid them in their search. Although the camera on your iPhone is decent, it is important to hire a professional photographer 
put your home in the best light. If you want your property to stand out when buyers are searching homes online, make sure to hire high quality photographers, videographers, and stage the property. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to redo your landscaping, but ignoring eyesores will not benefit us. Edge your grass along the walkways, touch up the paint, add some fresh covering, and go the additional mile with some beautiful flowers. No house is perfect, but if there are too many flaws, buyers will be turned off. Bring a trusted acquaintance to your house and ask them to be critical as if they were a possible buyer to help you spot eyesores. Fail to depersonalize. This is a combination of emotional connection and home appearance. Remove everything in your house that has eyes on it. You wouldn't want a family looking at you when seeing a potential home. You want prospective buyers to see themselves living in the home, just like a blank canvas. Ignoring your financial situation when selling your home. Arrange a meeting with your mortgage lender to discuss the sale of your home. You should be clear on your remaining loan balance and any other concerns associated with paying off your mortgage early. Check your loan eligibility for your future house as well. This video is for the purpose of guiding you in selling your home. Sell your home faster and at the highest price by skipping these mistakes. If you learned something from our video, please leave us a like. And if you are interested on other real estate related topics, please subscribe and click that notification bell button to be updated.